in this problem, ladies and gentlemen, we need to write the equation. Now, as you guys can see, we have two equations that we can write for a parabola. We've looked at the vertex form, and we've looked at standard form. So I'm just going to write down both equations to kind of help you out to make sense of this all. Now we need to write an equation. We need to write the equation in vertex form or in standard form, correct? It needs to be written in one of these formats. Now we need to understand we have some information. What does this information and everything kind of represent? Well, we're given the vertex. And if you guys remember, the vertex, the only thing we can see from our notes on the vertex is those um, are represented with two variables which we use as R in the alphabet. What are those? Yes, they are shift, but what do we use to represent them? Which variables? H and K. So we can say, this is my H and that's my K. Now, if knowing these two points, does that help us with A, B, or C? No, we don't. Do we know what A, B, and C represent as far as our vertex? No. So should be using the vertex, should be using standard form really going to help us by plugging in H and K? No. But can we plug H and K in for these two? Absolutely. So we don't want to use standard form. You're going to want to use vertex form when given the vertex. Um, the next thing is we have a point. So we still have left over y, a, and x. What should, what should our point 3 and negative 2 represent? y, a, or x? What do you think would kind of make some sense for it to represent? It's your x and y, right? These are coordinate points. x comma y. Right? So let's go ahead and replace these and see what happens. y, e, oops, we know what y is. y is negative 2. We don't know what a is. x, we say it's 3, minus h, which is a negative 1, squared, plus k, which is 1. Right? So basically, ladies and gentlemen, oops, I guess I used that red. The only thing we do not know is a. But do we now have an equation and one variable? So we can easily solve that, right? We just got to do a little bit of math. So 3 minus a negative 1 is going to be 3 plus 1, which is 4. 4 squared is 16 plus 1. Now I just solve for a. Minus 1, minus 1. Negative 3 equals 16a. Divide by 16, divide by 16. a equals negative 3 over 16. So now I know what a is. I know what a is, and I know what h and k are. So to write the equation, of my parabola, all I need to do is plug in a, h, and k, and I'm all set. y equals negative 3 over 16, x plus 1, right, minus a negative, plus 1, squared, plus 1. And there you go. Ta-da! Isn't that fun? That wasn't that bad.